Today we are going to talk about figurative language. So we are going to figure out figurative language. These are big words. So what does figurative language mean? The dictionary will tell you it is not literal language. But to understand that, you have to understand what literal means. So when somebody is using literal language, they are saying what most people know the words to mean, the obvious or factual meaning. Figurative language is not the obvious meaning of the word. For example, when Paul Simon says, I am a rock, I am an island, he does not mean it literally. He means it figuratively. And some of you guys had some great understanding of this in that three songs assignment. So why does this matter? Why are we learning this? Well, it's important to understand figurative language for several reasons. It will be in things you read and hear, and you want to understand the meaning, just to be informed. Authors use it to give a certain effect to their work. So some writing is like more powerful or more interesting if it uses figurative language. It can affect tone, mood, and theme. Understanding it is a form of deeper reading. So the first thing we're going to learn is called a metaphor. And we talked about metaphor in three songs. Um, this is directly comparing one thing to another thing. So saying one thing is another. So for example, these are kind of tough examples, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. So look at the nation. That's a crooked smile braces couldn't even straighten. So what does the author mean in this case? What are they saying about the nation when they say, it's a crooked smile that braces couldn't even straighten. Is the nation in trouble? Is the nation doing really well? By the way, the nation is the country. So if we were talking about Canada has a crooked smile that braces couldn't even straighten, what are we saying about Canada? The second example is the math test was a never ending marathon. So it was long. It was took a lot of endurance to do the math test. So when we say it is or it was, we're directly comparing and that's called a metaphor. A simile is indirectly comparing one thing to another by using like or as. So metaphors and similes are both comparisons. The big difference is this like or as that is used in similes. It's a little more straightforward when something is like or as another thing. So for example, at school they say my name funny, as if the syllables were made out of tin. So there's an as in there, so that's what makes it the simile. What is Sandra comparing? So her name is funny because it's made out of tin, like the syllables are made out of tin, they're hard to say or they're clangy or something to that effect. Okay, the second example, my backpack was like a bag of bricks that day. So my backpack was really heavy. It was like a bag of bricks that day. So for similes, you must include like or as. So one thing is like or as another. And in metaphors, it's just directly saying, one thing is another thing. So I want you to try writing a metaphor and a simile about yourself. The first step is to write a list of descriptive words about yourself. So this is about Miss Bowen. Some of them are positive, some of them aren't really positive, and it's okay. Um, probably sticking to the positive is better. So energetic, active, fun-loving, caring, hardworking, Wordy, some of you will know that. <laughs> Opinionated, sometimes. Feisty, comforting, loves learning, intense, complicated, passionate. So you want to come up with a list about yourself because this will help you when you're trying to think of what am I going to compare myself to. So think of things that represent these qualities. So caring, a mother bear. Intense, a thunderstorm that could also be kind of emotional could be a thunderstorm uh, complicated math equation so then you're going to write so miss bowen is a math equation 
because she's complicated. Some days, Miss Bowen is like a thunderstorm. She is also a mother bear who cares deeply. So which ones are the metaphors and which ones are the similes? How can you tell? So Miss Bowen is a math equation. Is Miss Bo Bowen a math equation? Not really, not literally, right? Is that a metaphor or a simile? It's a metaphor because it's a direct comparison saying that I am something else. Some days Miss Bowen is like a thunderstorm. So this time it's a simile. Still just a comparison, but the like or as allows it to be a simile. She is also a mother bear who cares deeply. So am I a mother bear? No, but this is a metaphor. So I say I am a mother bear and I don't even have to reveal what it means because in some ways a better metaphor or simile won't really explain itself. It'll just be there like the examples earlier on. So I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Um, please write at least one of each about yourself. So one metaphor, one simile. And uh, yeah, enjoy, have fun.